Push for a new trial is now in the hands of a Bastrop County judge. Prosecutors in Reed's defense wrapped up the fourth day of testimony this morning, but not before hearing from the mother of Stacy Stites, the young woman Reed was sent to death row for killing. And she was laughing and she was very happy. And they went up into their apartment, and that was the last time I saw her. Stacy, the last words to me was, I love you, Mom. And she she went out the door. Stacy Stites' mother, Carol, insists the state found her daughter's killer two decades ago. But Rodney Reed's defense points the finger at Stacy's fiance, Jimmy Fennell, a police officer who later went to prison for raping a woman he arrested. Mr. Fennell was invited to appear today, and once again, he took the Fifth Amendment. As far as the supposed discrepancy by Jimmy Fennell to Curtis Davis, the minimal impact that that would have had compared to the strong evidence indicating that Rodney Reed was the killer of Stacey Stites, there is no materiality on either plane. Reed's mother says messages of support from as far away as France and Australia keep them upbeat. And I'm very grateful. And uh, we're very, very optimistic. And uh, I love my daughter, and I have never thought that Jimmy killed Stacy. And I think it's about time people stopped trying to defend Rodney Reed and look at Rodney Reed for who he is. I, I just believe that sh judge, the Judge Shiva will do the right thing, we'll knowing the truth. So what's next? From here, the judge says it will take him six weeks to two months to rule on Reed's case. That ruling will be sent to the Texas Court of Criminal Appeals, which could decide to uphold Reed's conviction. They also have the option to start their own investigation that could end up in a new trial. But even if Reed is awarded a new trial and found not guilty, he may not be set free. Rodney Reed faces several felony charges that have never been indicted. They include uh, one one charge of aggravated sexual assault, three sexual assault charges, and a charge for unauthorized use of a vehicle.